Hello everybody, Ultra Mario here and welcome to Mickey Mania. I am now playing the Super Nintendo version, so yeah, getting ready for that. Oh wow, that was a jump scare. It's loud. Okay, just putting in the full screen. There we go. Let's go. Played the PlayStation version last time, so now I am playing this. Okay, wait. Shoot. Oops. The music's gonna definitely be a lot different. But it's still the same. Okay, real quick. Made the mistake last time. We are doing easy mode. Because this game is way too hard. Wanted to try normal. Normal was fine, but damn it, it was way too hard. Okay, help screen. I didn't read this last time, but... Oh. I honestly, I should have probably... Oh, the... The fireworks are continue points? I didn't even know that. Okay, extra try. I have not seen a single extra try in the whole game. Extra hit point. Oh, that's what the stars are. They weren't really in later levels at all. Pick up and throw. Okay, whatever. I should have read that. Anyway, the aim of the game. Rescue Pluto to beat the biggest, meanest peep anyone has ever seen. As Mickey travels through some of the greatest cartoon adventures of Square. I don't know about you, but Prince and the Popper Pete just seems like average Pete to me. It doesn't seem like the meanest Pete. But whatever. We're not here to question the, the logic of this video game. Okay, wait. Ch Does the audio work? Steamboat Willie, November 18th, 1928. It's got even longer loading times than the, than the Super Nintendo version. Bruh, that music is, like, way different. Okay, A to jump. That's weird. You know what? Wait, my pause button doesn't work okay well let me let me just change the button real quick I feel like my steam controller input thing is like messed up because it doesn't use Nintendo button layout Um, I don't know why it pauses like that. I apologize. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's way better. Okay, B to jump. Hiya, Mr. Goat. Damn, this game is not the same at all without hearing Mickey just talk constantly. Why is it, like... Oh, right. Oh, he still does talk in this version. Just not nearly as often. Which is fine. Because it's the Super Nintendo game. I don't expect him to talk all the time. Okay, I forgot those things hurt you for some reason. Okay, this version seems about the same as the Super Nintendo ver as the PS1 version, but obviously less effects. Like, for some reason, it doesn't have the film grain thing going on here. Or anything like that. Okay, wait. Uh, check in the chat, making sure everything's good. Everything's fine. Wait, am I stuck? Oh, wait, no. I just wanted to hit that cat. Again. Um. Yeah, I'll just do that in a minute. I mean, Mickey still looks just as great. Just slightly less shading, because he's not a PS1 sprite. The animation is just as good. It's just about the same, really. In that regard. Gasp, it's almost like I'm playing the exact same game. 
four times in a row just to see minor differences. Well, you know what? That's what I that's what I'm here to do. Okay, the the birds make funny noises. See, that's the difference I'm looking for here. But hey, for a Super Nintendo game, this looks pretty amazing, actually. I'm more impressed with this being on Super Nintendo. This working this good on Super Nintendo than on the PS1. Because, like, yeah, PS1 I'd expect to be able to do that kind of stuff. Because, like, you know, Tumba... Plenty of games look beautiful on that console. That's like a, you know, 3D... 32-bit console. It's capable of that, that stuff. But, like, Super Nintendo doing this much animation? That fluidly? Like, I know Super Nintendo games look great, but, like, damn. I'd say the same for Toy Story, but that game also sucks, so... I'd still say... This is definitely a better game than Toy Story. Like, by a landslide, but... Damn, does it... Try to... Damn, is it unnecessarily hard. I, I don't know, man. Like, I, I like it. Don't get me wrong. It's a de it's a pretty good game. Or a decent game, at least. In terms of being a game. But the graphics are, like, way better than the game itself. Like, you see that, that bird? That shouldn't, shouldn't have hit me. I don't know, man. Okay, I still gotta ring the bell. Oh, now it's in color. Oh, those are marbles. That's what that is? Oh, cool. Get to use Pete as a trampoline. Alright. There we go. Oh my god, this freaking game. Okay. Just kill him. Wait, that looks like near three. Bro, that's. This is Super Nintendo, and there's like 3D boxes. That looks almost the same as the boxes in the PS1 version, except the ones in that version are actually 3D. Like, damn. These are really good effects. Bro, they were able to render that? How? Okay. Well, this will be graph. <laughs> this will be graphics in 1994. I mean, then again, Donkey Kong Country also came out the same year, so... Honestly, I'm not sure what's more impressive. This or Donkey Kong Country. I mean, this game's mostly 2D, but... Like, it's pretty damn impressive, I will say. Also, yeah, this is... This level's excuse for a boss. It's just a bunch of gears. Like... He should have been an actual boss, not just some enemy in the level. dying today. I can't believe this game defaults at three lives. Five is much better. What? Bro, I hate this. Okay. I'm breathing through this game now, though, now that I know the rope. Oh my god, stop. I'll recover health between levels, right? I forget. 
I got. Just, just push it. No. Get out the damn way, box. Bruh, you even touch the box, it'll just kill you. Nope. Nope. Michael! Please, Michael! Do not kill me! Mortimer Mouse! You must not do this! What, what, what the heck is going on here? What? Why is the hitbox on Mickey Mouse so big? I, I, he, that, that freaking bomb didn't even touch me. It could, like, go slightly near me, and it would still kill Mickey Mouse. Oh my god, please. I had one more hit point. I'd be fine. Okay, whatever. Bro, the other one disappeared. Okay. I should have saved. I didn't because I don't feel like touching the save button every time. Ah! Oh. I got it. I got it. Come on, Mickey! Mickey! Freaking Ronin! Son of a crap over here. Ugh. Oh, Honestly, this is harder than the Mad Doctor boss. The level itself sucked, but the boss was, like, so easy. Congratulations, Mickey has stopped the cranes and rescued Steamboat Willie. Okay, I guess that's what they called Mickey in Steamboat Willie. They just called him Steamboat... I thought the na that was the name of the boat, not the guy. He's also, of course, called Mickey Mouse, but... I don't know, apparently Steamboat Willie is what they call him. Oh, Mad Doctor. The Mad Doctor, 1933. Oh, they don't they don't have a date for that, they just have a year. Oh god, this freaking level. Okay, uh, hold up, I'm just gonna get my phone. Don't know where it is, though. Uh, BRB screen, boom. Here I am. Okay, we got a good hour and 40 minutes or something. Let's continue now. Hold up. Okay. Just gotta... Where did my controller go? Dang it. Okay. Oh, there it is. Okay, here we go. In the horrible bat level.
Oh god, those skeletons. Okay, I might as well die. I have one hit point. Yeah, just die, Mickey. I, I don't care. Well, at least he respawns instantly. Oh my god, why? Wait, does that hurt you in this version? Or maybe it's because it's easy mode. I don't know. Let me see here. I don't know, but I don't want to risk it. Risk. No, the bones still hurt you. That is still the dumbest crap ever. Doesn't matter what version you're playing. These bones. Why are the knives like... Oh my god. This level sucks. Easily one of the worst in the game. And it's only level 2. And there's so many of these damn skeletons too. Okay. Hold up. Just gotta pull up my stream on uh, the phone. Okay, there we go. Now I can see the chat everywhere. Oh my god! Poor Mouse! He's blessed with this unfortunate circumstance going on. Why am I even playing this again? What is wrong with me? Oh well. I already made the choice. To play four different versions of the same game. To see minor differences. Because that's fun. I mean the music's kinda banging. As usual. Part of me likes the Super Nintendo soundtrack more somehow. Right, Bone's bad. Bone's very bad. Oh my god! Stop! Okay. Come on, Mickey. You got this. This health. Oh, I need more ammo, too. There, now I have a couple hit points. Oh, uh, if they're on the ground, they don't hurt you. Which, you know, makes sense, but... <laughs> Damn. At least he doesn't respawn. Also, yeah, I got a SNES Classic controller for this, so it feels authentic. Okay, we're moving on here. Eh, yeah, loading, loading times aren't that- Oh, this freaking part. This freaking part where Mickey just dies instantly for no reason. Love this. Okay. Oh my god, this is awful. Who came up with this? I just want to talk to them. that monster. I mean, if they wanted to make traps worthy of the Mad Doctor themselves, I guess they succeeded, but... Still, kinda messed up, bruh. 
Like, it's a short section, but damn, bro. Uh -oh. No. Stop it. Also, I don't know why it says rewind is disabled. Oh, it's because, um, frickin' rewind is mapped to R, probably. Um, I, I don't know. Let me, let me, let me see here. Let me just map it to something else, like T, I, I don't know. E, yeah, there. This game doesn't use L and R anyway, it doesn't matter. Okay. Gotta put it in full screen again. Hold up. There. Okay. Mouse, mouse time. Just, just die. We need more health again. Why is it still doing that? Ugh. Okay, whatever. Rewind is disabled. I just want to hit the L and R button. I don't care if it works with the game or not. I just like hitting buttons. That's so wrong. Most of this level isn't even actual platforming. It's just trying to get it past these darn skeletons. And bats. Like, do you think that's fun? Gameplay design? I don't know, man. That is not very fun. Funny how the archers in the last level. Wait, what if I jumped on them instead of wait using my freaking marbles? Honestly, I don't really jump on enemies in this game, so I don't really think about that. Like, do I have to kill him in that way? Do I even have to kill him at all? The last level kind of taught me. You know what? Maybe don't kill all the enemies ever. Excuse me. Cobb's getting a bit better at least. Oh, forgot my light. It's better now. Oh yeah, this section looks super impressive in the Super Nintendo- Oh, no. In the PlayStation version. Yep. Okay. He's waiting. Oh, he just dies anyway? Bruh, what's the point of dodging of using your marbles here? Okay, so I'm guessing it's just an instant death trap. And you lose health no matter what. What is this? Why? Why is this? Bro, this game so okay. No, not really, but dang, do they make it hard to like it, man. This is such a beautiful and great and cool game, and then it's not cool. Why? Why do they have to torture Mickey like this? Okay. No, no, no. No, ow. Owie. Ouch, my bones. Okay, okay. Oh, oh no, oh, no, 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 bad. Bad, bad, bad. This is easy mode, by the way. Somehow I think this part is harder in this version. I don't remember having to dodge all these bones. Oh, thank god. Okay. Well, we made it past that. It's a start.
Oh, this part. This part's cool. Okay. I wonder if they're about to respawn here. Bro, this song is banging. It's actually good. for a second. Yeah, I don't know. I like the Super Nintendo music better. The music just sounds less generic. Oh, actually, it's still kind of generic, but... I don't know. The instruments sound nice. I gotta kill a mad doctor. I'm impressed with how, like, identical most of the graphics are to the other version I played, though. Like, yeah, this is the game I just played. Not much compromise. Oh, I forgot about the health. Somehow, I didn't notice all the health stars he has right there. Bruh, how? Oh, I have like no health, so that's... Kind of explains everything right now. Bro, the bosses have, like, no patterns. He just kind of just spams a bunch of crap. And hopes you dodge it. Like, okay. You can kind of just camp him out by using marbles, but... Off-screen, but otherwise, that's like, why? Damn it. No. This is not good. No. Bro. Mad Doctor, you piece of crap. How is there no way to dodge this? I just want to get... Like... Yeah, I see no way to dodge that. Your chances of dodging these stupid potions are like, so small. You basically just have to spam him with marbles and hope you get lucky. In fact, that's exactly what I will do. Shoot! That bastard.
Oh my god. How is this harder than normal mode in this PS1 version? I'm just gonna die. I, I don't care. Okay, there. I saved Pluto. He's good now. What does a bark sound like in this version? Oh, he's so cute, actually. He's so cute. Okay. Well done. Mickey has defeated the Mad Doctor and rescued Pluto. Hunters. This is my least favorite level in the whole game, honestly. Because it really is, like, there's nothing good about it other than the way it looks. Like, there's just boulders everywhere and moose. I guess the only reason they picked this short is because they wanted an excuse to have Pluto tag along for the next level. Okay, it still looks bad in easy mode, but at least the do the boulders are more dodgeable. No. I said- I said the boulders and the branches and everything else is more dodgeable. Oh, it doesn't kill you. Oh, God, why? This sucks! Okay. No. Bad. Bad. Bad game. Very, very bad. Okay. Bro, let Mickey freaking chill with his two hit points. Oh my god, no. Okay. This is agonizing. And no, there won't be any cool moose chase bar. Which is the only good thing about the level, so... Honestly, just run through it. I don't care what you do, Mickey. Okay, I wish I could do that. And not care, but... Remind me how that hit me. What? Why would you stop where there's a boulder, Pluto? You're a menace. Honestly, the moose is the least frustrating part. At least that's telegraph. The boulders are so annoying. Okay. No, 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 no. Okay. Okay. That, that, that's easy. It's just the hitbox is so wonky. It's just like, you jump over it and it wouldn't matter. Yeah, like, how the heck did that- You tell me that that hit me. Okay, also, sorry, I gotta pull this back up. Oh boy. Yay. What is hitting me? 
Bro, you tight you even slightly touch the edge of the stupid tree branch. Ow. I swear to god. You know what, whatever. We're, we're just gonna go. Congratulations, Mickey has found Moose Hunter Mickey. He also found a moose. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, I always forget I have to hit start button. I can't just mash A. Oh, never mind. This isn't this. Whoa, okay. This looks a lot different. Looks kind of cheesy here, but it's fine. Why didn't they have the cutscene when the Mad Doctor turned into a baby? That's my question. They could have done that. Honestly, even though this isn't quite the same... Isn't the same as the PS1 version, it still looks kinda cool. Even though, like, yeah, this is just a giant cylinder spinning around over and over. I'm sure for some kid in 1994, this would have been mind-blowing. Wait, what the hell? Okay, whatever. The Super Nintendo can produce mind-boggling effects. Oh, I get it. He, like, slows down? Maybe? Mickey, stop slowing down! You're gonna get killed! Congratulations, Mickey has escaped from the rampaging moose. Okay. Alright. I gotta hit buttons. Okay, what's next? Um, the lonesome ghost? Yeah. And then Prince and the Pauper, I think. Oh wait, Mickey and the Beanstalk, and then Prince and the Pauper. Pretty sure. Lonesome Ghost, 1937. Yo, the vibes here. Bro, the 3D is insane. Oh, thank god. They didn't have the one section with the stairs in the Mad Doctor level. That part sucks. Okay. Okay. If anything, that makes this version better automatically, because it looked cool as hell, but the boxes were so damn annoying. Okay, for some reason I couldn't move. Goodbye, Pluto. Wait, wait, I, I'm able to climb the stairs in the, in the PS1 version. Is that now what I'm supposed to do here? Yeah. No, I can still do that. Ah, bastards. Okay. Bruh, there's... Stop.
Great hitbox. Bro, why is he falling through the dang floor? Okay. Screw off, Michael Mouse. Michael J. Mouse. Okay, these uh, balancing platforms are a lot more screwy in this version. That's another difference. Yeah, overall, the PS1 version is still better. Don't get me wrong. Because the Mad Doctor... <laughs> excuse me. The Mad Doctor sucked in this one. But this version is still an alright, acceptable version to play of the game. Like, it's not bad. Like, I'd still say, play the PS version version, but it's not, like, mandatory required if you have to play any version of this game. You could really... You probably couldn't go wrong with most versions of this game. Like, if you just wanted to play a Super Nintendo game, then go ahead and play this one. Oh my god. You know what? It's fine. How did that hit me? Okay. You know what? Screw off, ghost man. Stop. I can't trust the collision on these stupid balance beams. Ow. Oh my god, no. Okay. Come on, Mickey. Come on, Mickey. No. No. I hate that the manhole covers hurt you. Like, they should be helpful, if anything. Wait, I'm supposed to bounce on them? Wait, no, it hit me. It hurt me, actually. Remind me how was I supposed to see that bat? You literally can't. There's so many enemies that just randomly come up and they're like, I'm gonna hit you, and you can't see them. I keep forgetting that this game just lets you spam jump if you hold jump button, and it throws me off at times. Cause like, I never noticed it until I kept trying to jump, and then... Like... When platforming in precise areas like this, and then... Like, I noticed that last time, I just didn't, like, make mention of it. Specifically. Come on, Mickey! Mickey J. Rodent. I don't know what it is. Like, the, the controls are the exact same, but somehow this part feels harder. Okay. Got him.
You're literally forced to take a hit there. Hey there, best puppy. How's it going? Yeah, I'm I'm doing pretty good. Yeah, I just didn't want to bother you too much, but hope you're doing well. Just having fun with this silly difficult Mickey Mouse game. But it's going well. I'm like halfway through the game already. And I got about an hour, so I got some time. It's a short game. Ow. Okay, I didn't think the water would rise that high. I think the audio levels, like the vol the volume and stuff were fine, but I'm not sure. I always have to change it for like each game. Bro, why does the water rise up when... I, I don't get it. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, you're like, you, you're... That, that, that doesn't happen in the, the PlayStation version that I just played the other day. Like, they, I think they make both barrels go up. Like, why does this barrel just stop going up suddenly after this guy uses his boat? That doesn't make any sense. Because, like, logic would indicate that the barrels would just move at the same level. It's like, as soon as another barrel shows up, you can't use the next one. The previous one. Okay. We're, 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 we're gaming here. Oh, this part's easy. Just avoid the ghost. Wait, it's different-ish? I don't know. I don't remember being cornered by two different ghosts. Well, I can't just jump over him. Yeah, just duck. It's fine. And slowly- Oh my god, what? Bro. The PlayStation 1 version only had one ghost show up. Like, in front of you. Not two ghosts, like, back to back like, trying to kill you. Why are they doing this? Okay. Well, it isn't that hard to dodge. You just have to be in, like, a good spot. Bro, this is the easy mode. Why is the Super Nintendo version harder? Now, there's some areas of the PS1 version that were harder, but that was because I played that first, and I wasn't used to the game yet. No, this is objectively harder here. Why are they doing this with the stupid ghosts? Okay. There we go. We made a pass. Next time, I'm playing the Sega Genesis version, and then Sega CD. But... Um... I, I'll break it up in between days with more Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl. And then after I beat all the Mickey Manias, I don't know, maybe I'll, um... <laughs> Actually, I should save that game for another time. Um, I was thinking of Spongebob the Cosmic Chick, but, you know, later this year is Spongebob's 25th anniversary. I should save it for a bit. Because that game feels like a celebration of Spongebob. Why not just save it. Wait, what am I supposed to do here? Wait, am I supposed to be under? Oh, okay, I see. Woo! That was close! Mickey has escaped the ghost and has found loathsome ghost Mickey. Okay, Mickey in the beanstalk level. Oh, whoops, I didn't mean to. Oh, okay. But yeah, later in the year I might play 
SpongeBob this cosmic shake. Although I should also probably check out Battle for Bikini Bottom. I mean, I played that on PS4 before, but like, I mean, I should stream it too. I wonder if I should play the GameCube version, though. I mean, I've never played the uh, original. I've only played Rehydrated. Ugh, I hate this already. Bro, what is with this game and bullet hell? What am I supposed to do? Genuinely. Do they want me to dodge all those stupid beans? Bro. Screw off with that. Oh my god. It, the PS1 version didn't have bean spam, I think. At least not that I'm aware of. What is happening with this game? It's like each game, each time I play, each version I play, there's something that makes the game worse somehow. I don't remember that at all. Oh, yeah. That song is nice, though. Honestly, this music's kind of pretty. I, I I like the music in this version a lot more. I don't know. I said that earlier, but like, dang, this this kind of hits. None of this is music I listen to on my own time or anything, but like, I mean, that's reserved for the best game soundtracks. This is pretty decent, at least. Or at least good enough game soundtracks. As much as I still kind of suck at the game, at least I'm quite a bit better since I know what to expect from all these spammy levels now. Also, it feels comfy playing with the Super Nintendo controller. Okay, so on easy mode, I think you just, like, respawn in the spot you died, which sounds way better. Great. Oh, yeah. Okay, stop. Stop doing... <laughs> Ow. The levels are generally the same, except they have stuff, sections added or removed. But like, the layout and stuff is exact same. Oh, those baby spiders look different in this version.
I don't know, here I can kind of tell they're spiders. In the other game, I thought they were rabbits for some reason. Bruh. Oh, is the sound off? What happened? Test! Uh, everything's... Uh, excuse me. Everything seems to be working anyway. Just go on that guy. Ah, uh, I see, I see. Yeah. I'll say it again, the music's banging. Um, what do I do again? Thank you for joining, by the way. It's always a lot of fun chilling with people on the streams. Of course, this is something you're supposed to jump on and you're supposed to be expected to know, <laughs> okay, that's a platform. Yeah. Wait, that beetle is purple. I don't remember purple beetles in the, the other version. Also, thank you. Okay, this area looks quite a bit different than the PlayStation 1 version. I know that much, at least, but... Still looks good. See, I played the, another version of this game that was better. Gra with a better graphic. It's slightly better graphics. Well, actually, not slightly, but quite a bit better graphics, but it's still very similar, like the same game. I played it the other day, and there was a lot of growing pains with that because I never played this game, but now I'm getting pretty decent at it. Bruh, the Jello does not even animate in this version. Uh, and I did see a footage of the Sega Genesis version. The Jello is supposed to like bounce and jiggle when you jump on it. And the PS1 version, it moves like, and it's like super fluid. I'm sure that the, the Super Nintendo was capable of such effects. This is probably one of the worst versions of the game, but it still looks pretty good. Oh, I can I can just run past the cheese. I thought that was a solid like wall. Hey, Mickey and the Beanstalk, Mickey. Congratulations, Mickey has rest has managed to find Mickey and the Beanstalk, Mickey. See, just like I said. Oh, oh, it's the part where I get the get. Uh, whoops! Damn it! What 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 is it with this me and making a wrong safe state in this? specific portion of this specific level. Well, now I know I can just run under that guy. Okay, Willy the Giant. Oh, they don't even have the section with Willy the Giant. Yeah, 
No, that that's specifically only in the PlayStation 1 version. But the section with the where you're being chased by the moose, that's Honestly, good. I, I didn't like the part with Willy the Giant. The moose was a lot easier. The Willy, Willy was annoying. Okay, well, I'm already on the final level. Wow, the background is, like, way simpler here. They just have snow falling out of a window. In the, the PlayStation version, there's, like, a big snowscape. It looked pretty. Oh yeah, also, that's not the way I'm supposed to go. The game expects you to know, okay, I'm gonna push this crate here, and then you go this way, and then you rock on a chandelier. Like, how do you know to do all that? You don't. It's They got so many beginner's traps in this game. Nobody is going to know that. Oh, right. I got to hit the switch. Wait. Can I not just hit it in this one? It's supposed to uh, turn the light on. I don't know. Oh, you know what? Maybe it was something downstairs, too. Nope, I have no idea. Actually, I'm just gonna get game over. Screw it. Help, press a, press the button to help Mickey continue with his quest. Yeah, because if you game over, it just bring into uh, the beginning of the level. So, might as well just get another continue and carry on. I'd be so much worse off without save stage. Okay, I have five lives again. So, yeah, I'm fine. Okay, here we go. Swinging. Baby. I get Fire Emblem vibes with this music for some reason. Oh yeah, that means that the annoying 3D staircase part won't be in this version either. Good. Thank goodness. They didn't need all that in the level anyway. The level was already so long to begin with. It's cool that there's extra content in the levels, but instead of adding so many portions to existing levels, they could have just made a new level entirely. Instead of, like, adding annoying parts to levels and making them longer than they need to be. But, it's probably cheaper to add a bunch of unnecessary stuff to an existing level. Rather than just, like... Other than just do, like, new stuff. Oh, there it goes. It wasn't working before.
I feel like attacking them in this version is a lot faster, so that's a plus. Stupid guy. Why does the platform keep going that way? Just stay here. I still recommend the, you know, the PlayStation 1 version above all because it looks really cool, but dang, any version you play is going to be super hard. Also, play on easy mode. For, for goodness sake, play on easy. This game's too hard. Well done! Hopper Mickey has been found, but the prince is held in the dungeon. I gotta save the prince. And actually do it this time, because I accidentally game over it and I didn't want to replay the whole level again. On the last playthrough. Now, for a game that's a platformer, there isn't a lot of actual platforming, I feel. Mostly just annoying enemies. God, this part. Thank <laughs> you. 
Well, Traveler's Tales doesn't make the best games, I can at least commend them on their consistency with this particular game. Because all the versions are like, basically the same game. The level and lay layout, layouts and stuff are all the same, just certain effects are different and certain minor things are tweaked. My reaction. Do I want to play this on Genesis and Sega CD two more times? I don't know. Probably. I'm already halfway there. working still. I don't commend myself on the timing here. It's only been an hour and 13 minutes. My last, my previous stream of this game was two hours, so I'm doing a lot better on this game. Now that I know all the ropes. So you know what, I probably wouldn't mind playing it two more times. Even though I don't, wouldn't necessarily want to play the game, I'm just curious <laughs> about all the differences, so. I don't necessarily want to play Mickey Mania, but, you know, I kind of want you at the same time. It's weird. So, I'm just going to keep playing Mickey Mania, and Nick Crawl too, of course, because that's actually a fun game. Nah, not trying to be too mean to Mickey Mania, though. It, is, it does have bursts of fun. It does have fun moments. It's just way too hard, and it makes it not enjoyable, in my opinion. Like, it's not a fun kind of hard. It's just, like, annoying. Like, I don't think Mickey Mania needed to be this hard at all. I don't care if you make a decently challenging Mickey Mouse platformer, but like, don't make it like this. Oh my god. No. Okay, there. Bro, you gotta be hitting me. Oh yeah, that part moves way slower on easy mode, I think. Oh, right, those things. Oh, the arrow. The spears. Okay, let's get past it. They are so cooking with these graphics that they forgot to actually make a fun game. Sorry, not sorry. What? Okay. Bro, what is happening? Screw you, Michael. It's all your fault. Why, 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 why? Ow. 
No, how are you supposed to pass this? Nothing is working. You need the damage boost. Bro, no. Okay, never mind. You don't, but it's really hard. Oh no, dead mouse man. Oh yeah, this part is kinda annoying. That's okay, we're almost at the ending section, ready to beat the game. Bro, this is annoying. Congratulations! Mickey has found the prince who shows him the way to Pete's tower. Okay, we're gonna fight Pete now, soon. And I have just enough time to do that, so. I thought this game didn't have these sections! No! This version has the stairs. The stairs exist, they just. Okay, so they just added one of these to... I feel like they just reuse sections. In the PlayStation 1 version, there's two chase sections and two stair sections. In this version, there's only one of each. They just added one to an earlier part in the game for the stairs and a later part of the game for the chase. They added another chase and they added another stair thing. That's what they did. It's not like they don't exist. I thought they just didn't exist. And yeah, it's just as annoying as the other versions, so. Cool. This is not fun. And at least this has actual platforming. It's just. You know what? Die. <laughs> Die, Mickey Mouse. We need health. Actually, why would I die there? Uh, I'm just gonna die in a spot where it doesn't matter. Well, it doesn't matter, but like... Bro, the fire moves so much faster than the PlayStation 1 version. I died, but that's okay. I I'm gonna respawn to the same spot anyway. I think... Probably... Let's find out. Oh. Okay, well that was a complete severely waste of my time. J just die, Mickey. I just wanted to test it, because in other areas of the game you can respawn, but I guess it makes sense for this, this part, because, you know, this <laughs> rising fire, they wouldn't want you to be in an unwinnable state, but... That's annoying, because I wasn't in an unwinnable state that time. Ow. See, it's like... Do they want me to stop to avoid the barrels, or do they want me to uh, acknowledge Ow. the rising hellscape that is going below me? That is going from uh, below me. Like, bruh, what do they want me to do here? Oh god, you're telling me there's more barrels? No. Impressive graphics, though. Don't get me wrong. Also, the fire has much bigger hitbox. In the PlayStation 1 version, like, the, the lava was, like, barely edging me. 
and like it, it was like close to hitting Mickey but that wasn't enough to hit him. Here it's a lot bigger and it makes sense but it's also annoying that it makes sense because it's harder. It'd be like the graphic of the fire would be barely almost touching you but that wasn't enough. Uh, why didn't I save? I think it's because I thought I was going to be an unwinnable save. If the lava was too... Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. That's fine. We can... We can... We can do it. Got it. Mickey. Okay. Mickey! Okay. Okay. I think I got this. Why is it so long? I got this! Okay. The final battle. Like, actually this time. Oh wait. Right, there's more of this crap here. Just die, Mickey. I don't care. Hold up. Hold up, let me just DM next. Okay, this is a lot better on easy mode. I mean, that goes without saying, but like, damn. It's still hard as hell. Bro, how- oh yeah, oh yeah, I completely forgot the enemies take one damage. You can just kill them. No, I think I saved at the wrong spot, or... I have to, like... Damn. I have to be, like, mad fast. Bro, this is hell. Why won't the game pause when I need it to? Yeah! Okay, we made it. How's your day been going, by the way? Can I just jump on him? I don't know. I don't need to use my marbles right now. Oh yeah, this stupid swinging thing is gonna be so annoying here. I need to stock up for the boss fight. And not waste a ton of them. Ah. 
Oh. Yeah, I don't, I don't really need to kill any of these guys. Uh-oh. Mickey must now face the biggest Pete of all in the final showdown. Actually, he's not that big, but fair enough. They're just gassing up Prince and the Popper Pete. He's just regular Pete. Wait. So, you're telling me that they added all that cra- Actually, I mean, that could also be because it's easy mode, but no. There's an entire whole long as heck annoying section before the actual fight in, in the PlayStation 1 version. Either that's not in this version, or it's not in easy mode. Either way, that is so much better. Now I actually get to fight the damn guy. Like, immediately. Oh, also I have no marbles, apparently. Maybe it's just... Maybe I just get to use, um... Uh, frickin'... Whatchamacallit? You know, jump on him. Which, like, fair. Oh, oh, I have to spikes. I have to give him spikes. Bro, this song goes hard. It's actually kind of like... This is the final battle. You gotta kick his ass. Kind of vibe. I'm bopping to this song. Wait, I thought... Okay. I thought I could dodge him. Whatever. Ah. Okay, the hitboxes are so huge in this game. He should have got hit by that. Or maybe he did? Oh, uh, no, no, no. Honestly, it's nice that there's a boss fight with actual strategy and not just spam marbles or hit stupid gears. It's like an actual boss fight, so... Hey, good on you for having a good final showdown, at least. Like, it's still annoying to dodge the stuff, but like, because of the hitboxes, but it at least feels kind of fun. Also, I feel like the music's doing, like, a lot of the carrying here. Ah, uh, yeah. Sometimes it's hard to tell if he gets hit. But, yeah, if the thing gets pierced, he did get hit. Uh, no, 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 no. Ah, uh, I don't want to get hit. Okay. No, 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 no. I need to stay alive. How many hits does this dude have? Damn, bro. You know what? I got this. I don't need no safe states. No nothing. Okay, actually I do to make it not take as long, but... Oh. 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 
Oh. What is that? Okay. Okay, we're beginning another phase of the fight. Of this incredibly long fight now. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. Yeah, maybe 10. At least for part one. I haven't been counting, so. Bruh, how, is, how are you supposed to dodge that? Not good. I think I'm supposed to jump on the sword, but I don't know. Yeah. For sure. Okay, now my question is, how do you hit the switch? I'm, I'm doing it. It should work. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, I don't even care. Just beat the crap out of him. Wait, that was supposed to hit him, wasn't it? Damn it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, indeed. How am I so how am I supposed to dodge these? No, okay. I think I got a better. I have three hits. Maybe I can survive. No. I don't have time. Bro, it's disappearing so fast. I gotta beat the crap out of Peach. Ah, oh, damn it. He did it again. No, don't get hit, Mickey. We need you to stay alive. Yes. What? like a right and then a left. Bruh, Mickey and Mouse bullet hell over here. This is like Toho or something. Okay. Maybe like six, like three more hits. I'm guessing. I got this. Or maybe two. Yeah, okay, one more. That was close. Well done, Mickey. Mighty Peace has been defeated. Oh, whoops. Okay. Has been defeated, and Mickey can start on his next animated cartoon. Watch for it coming soon. By the way, they are referring to the theatrical short, um, Runaway Brain, which was in 1995, which played with a movie that nobody cared about or wasn't good, so. It's called Runaway Brain. It's a good short. And now they show all the levels that were in the game, which is cool. You got Steamboat Willie. <laughs> they got Pete. Honestly, Pete looks a lot like more like a cat in his original iteration than he does in currently. <laughs> New Pete looks like a dog. Like, I don't know. Like, he has a cat tail, at least. 
Mad Doctor. Spooky, scary skeleton and shivers down your spine. Shrieking skull will suck your soul and seal your doom to a night away. Uh, okay, 137, not bad. Spooky, scary skeleton and shortling shrilly streams. They'll shake and shudder in surprise when you hear the zombie shriek. I love the way he just walks, like... You can tell this guy's a freak. Worst level ever. Moose Hunters. And it's not even for a short anybody cares about. Bro, all they have to show is the freaking moose. <laughs> Lonesome ghost. Alright level, but it had some annoying parts. But not as annoying as Mad Doctor or Moose Hunters. Making the Beanstalk was an okay level, but some of the and a lot of course it suffers from problems the whole game has with the enemy placement and stuff. But it has pretty aesthetics, so. Where's Willy, though? They don't actually show Willy the Giant. Oh, yeah, wait. Willy the Giant isn't even here, even though he's, like, a main character in the short. Uh, that's okay. Game's beat anyway. It's just the credits. Thank you for watching, though. Have a good one, best puppy. It was good seeing you. Prince in the Popper. With the Fire Emblem sounding ish music. That's fair. I mean, I'm gonna be playing the game like two other times, so if you somehow did want to watch one of the times, then feel free. But if not, that's okay. See ya! I love that picture of Mickey, it's so funny. But yeah, it's a good game, it just, I don't know, it's way too hard. It's not, sorry I'm late, but, <laughs> Big Bang, Big Bang written this by, I didn't even read any of this, because I was just, like, too mad at the game. They got Disney Feature Animation Florida here. They couldn't even come up with original credits music? Come on. What? I don't, I don't know. I guess it's a company. Bro, they got... Sonic and Hales? Holy crap! Okay. Holy crap, it's Sonic. Phil Morris. That name sounds familiar somehow. Good morning. If you enjoy this game, buy it twice. Well, I didn't buy it twice, but I did play it twice. And I'm gonna play it two more times. Thank you. Be because I want to? No, not necessarily. But because I want to just see all the little differences. I'm just interested and kind of crazy like that. I mean, I care enough to keep trying all the other ones, so... Is that it? Is it just stuck? Oh, no. Bruh, it just gives you a game over. Well, I mean, technically the game is over, so, like, fair enough. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching this Mickey Mania stream. If you like what you saw, feel free to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Link is on the sidebar. I post a ton of my Twitch VOD content, including a ton of other games like Mario, Sonic the Hedgehog, Kingdom Hearts, 
Pikmin 4, and a ton of other licensed games. Recently, I'm also playing Nickelodeon All-Star Pro 2. Anyway, have yourself a fantastic day, and take care. Oh, and one more thing. I also have a Discord server. Link's on the sidebar, too. So, if you want to see stream updates and stuff, feel free to um, check that out, too. We chat and stuff there. Anyway, see ya, everyone. Have a good one. I'll be playing more Nick Brawl 2 tomorrow.